Does it work getting wet feet or not? It's an extremely hot day. This is all shade and that's water. So why not give it a go? I don't know how deep it is. It's not supposed to be a big tide. I think it's a 1.6. I'll get up here and rig up with my new hyper. Do I want to get wet feet straight away? Yeah, why not? Sit the bag here. It's deep, but I mean, 35 degrees it doesn't really matter, does it? tap on it mm -hmm. I'm gonna get wet I'm gonna get wet was one. Well, we've just got a straight shank worm hook in at the moment. Check it. Might be a bit heavy on it too, I've got two sinkers on. So the hook's buried into the rubber, so that's probably why I missed him. I like it like that anyway to start because I'd rather get bites and not lose lures and then hone in on them. That's three casts, oh, it's two casts for one bite, so. There. Oh, hey, that was better. Got him. Oi, yeah. Come on, nice. <laughs> I haven't even got a drag set on this. Awesome. There we have it. That was four casts. Two that way, one that way. Got a tap like that at the start. How cool is that? Urban fishing at its finest. It's such a hot day. But I'm, I'm knee deep in these mangroves. Four cars. Four cars. Hey buddy. Put you back on for a sec. That's the little two inch power bait prawn in the camo. A really good hook up too, right into the roof of his mouth. So what you want. Oops, oops. Where'd he go? Come on. He's rigged up. It's a straight shank hook. The reason I did that was for strength. I'm using 10 pound braid, 10 pound leader. I might as well have a strong hook on it. They are a lure designed for casting on light line. Oh, look at that little prawn getting chased there. So, I've got a lot of uh, fine hooks as well for the lighter line, but seeing as we're in mangroves, we've got heavy line on, we'll go the hook that works to it. So forecast one fish, awesome. And I've parked about 200 yards from where I've just walked in. Hopefully four or 500 yards of this mangroves and I'll have an awesome session. This, this rod is two hours old. 
had four casts and I've caught a fish. I'm really superstitious with rods and boats. You've got to catch it. As soon as you buy a new boat or a new rod, you have to go and catch a fish straight away with it. Ooh, in between two nasties here, eh? Let's have a look. Stuff gets me shaking. I already know the brimmer onto this lure, so that's the beauty of it. I can now start to work it. So I'll put two little cast into the snags here before I approach it. Now I'm going to go out here. You'll see another snag there. Laydowns everywhere. I think it's probably why you've got to fish the worm hook on this tide. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, that was a good one. Obviously, I've fouled it. Look, I knew that straight away, so I've wound it in. That's a much better fish than the first one. Wound it in. Hopefully, he's got a mate. Oh, he hit hard. They're going to be fun. Jeez, that hit hard. Surely there'll be another one, or is they just loners? <laughs> well, that's a fisherman's fly. <laughs> Pretty rough. Well, this is the perfect day to do this style of fishing. There's actually a breeze blowing through here that would be boiling out there. But just beautiful here. Out tree. Oh yeah, I like this spot. Don't know if there's any laydowns there, but it's the same sort of thing as where I got bricked earlier. Surely there'd be one here. Yep, I'm on. Yep. Oh, I dropped him. I was just, I, was, I thought I heard a fairy. Didn't feel that big and then he loaded up. Okay. Stick with this hook for a bit longer. And then we're going to have to switch. Good boy, you turned on again. Uh, I've re rigged this hook. So I've got an exposed hook at the uh, point at the top because that's just too many missed fish. We're getting there though. One, we got a great lure. I got drop shot hooks there. The only reason I'm not using them is because this high tide I can't see the lay down. Oh, there's another fish. Oh, you know what too, I'm fishing heavy, I've got to drop the sinker. Oh, and again, see? They're letting go because they feel the weight. Well, we know we've got a good lure. And every time we come across the fish, we're getting whacked. Try it one more time. I don't think they were big fish that were hitting that then, so can't really use that as an example of a hookup. But we're getting there, we're getting there. Found the brim, they're all swimming through here. Not real big, but there's tons of them. Nice 
shallow there. Oops. It's up in here. Yep. Make sure that. It's a bit of line going around the reel. You know what? I think I've just missed my opportunity. I think the tide turned like minutes after I got here. Good, because this is all dropping, but I just think, what was that? I think that they've uh, already done their course and they'll probably turn around and come back. Wouldn't be surprised with the next fish I hook is a flatter. I see these little brims swimming around here, seeing a big set of human legs walk up to them. Oh, geez, there's been some fires in Sydney lately. Chemical truck on fire today. I think that one's going, that's at Weverell Park, so poor old Prospect River's going to cop it again. Another fish kill on its way. It's going to be a bad year. That's a little one. Come on. Oh, I thought, whoa, 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 whoa. I thought I was snagged. You don't you dare. Oh, what is it? A big whiting. Everything takes this lure. Oh, that's it. That's my video. A brim and a whiting because uh, it's not in the mood. That's awesome. I thought I was snagged. I thought I was snagged. Come here, mate. Pick the Parramatta River whiting. Look at it. Keep fishing. I'll, I'll, I'll feel for a little bit longer. Look at this beautiful fishing. And it's just so nice in here. I think that's what it is. I'm just so relaxed. You can actually, for the first time in my life, throw a bait out. Hmm. Awesome, buddy. And it gives me a chance to get another lure out, too. But that power bait, now I've caught. Bass, carp, trout, brim, whitey, all on this one lure. I think it's going to be just the missing link in Australian estuary fishing, to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah, you just stay there for a sec, buddy. I already put that in the drink once today. Hey, come here. Who's the one? Big whiting. There's so much fun. It felt like a tree trunk hitting it. I mean, that's what I've missed a couple of these, maybe. God. Tell you what, when you get them hooked, though, you've got them. Just getting some clearish water so you can see this little guy swim away. keep fishing so I'll film a little bit more what I'm going to do now is take that oh, another ferry take that ball sink a double ball sinker rig off just go a bit lighter I 
Oh, that warding was awesome. If I catch a flathead, I'm going to go to Parramatta and get a brim, uh, a bass. I'll be the urban hat trick. What an awesome little lure. It's actually deeper here than it is out here, so it's just fishable. I'm going to just pull up the old man's shorts. Mr. Shaggies, I bet you there'd be a few there because look at all the shags. I was talking about poo before, they love poo. It's nothing better than shag poo. It's got every type of munchie in it. Okay. Come on. I want a couple of nice brim and I want a flathead. And then I'll go and get my bass. That's the one. Oh, whoa, bad fishing, bad fishing, bad fishing. Get out of there and go back. I had him backed off and let him drop it. <clears throat> it wasn't a brim hit either, so it could be another whiting or it could have been that float out I'm after. Wonder, you know, with the flathead, if it was, it's going to come back and hit me again. That's it. Yep. Whoa. Oh. It's still on, but he's treed me. Oh. What trees down there? That was a big brim. Come on, mate. How can you... Look, you got a single hook in your mouth. He's still on. Just fell him then. Ah, it's any leader I got. Come on, swim away. Ah, oh, look at all those prawns. That was a big fish. Ah. Now, how can he be? He can't be on now. Oh, no lead out there. Oh, oh well. I'm just do the old spider wire knot. Put my sinker on. Double the line. Thread that through the eye. Jeez, I'm blind. You get in there. Okay. I'm just gonna do a half hitch. Tighten up a bit and then this loose bit goes back over the entire hook. Like so. Pull it all tight. And then just another half hitch. Or two, so it doesn't unravel. One, that'll do. All right, don't have even braid scissors. Lead is very important for this style of fishing. When you get into the heavier, like bass lines and stuff, we don't bother too much. Even then I do, because I hate the rod wrap. But I actually want this lure to, to sit on the bottom. Braid floats. Okay, I've gone to a different worm hook now. Instead of a straight shank, I've gone to a narrow gap worm hook. And I think it's gonna do a lot better job than the straight shank. He's just a bit weaker, but I mean, you just see me get treed anyway.
Oh, that's what I'm, I'm I just started coughing my guts up. I thought it was all pollen, it's that stuff. It's coming straight across at me. Oh my goodness, it chokes you. It just must be brick dust. Oh, yep, there's one. <laughs> oh, what have I got this time? Taylor. It's not the triple I wanted. I wanted the flathead to uh, cap this little session and then I wanted to go and get a bass. Try and get the four predators that live in the para. But, uh, oh, there's plenty of predators live in the para. But I suppose you can say Taylor lives there too. I'm moving on, that brick dust is terrible. Absolutely shocking. And it's the only thing I hate about not fishing with a leader is this, line wrap. The top, oh. see? It's notorious for it, right? Thanks for watching, guys. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, <clears throat> as I'm talking, my throat's choking from it. It's just coming straight across to me.